This is a recent um, charity shop find. Uh, it was five dollars all said and done. It's like four fifty, and then there was tax. Um, this is a mechanically, it is a nothing special uh, fan. At Galaxy, I'm pretty sure it's made by Samuel. I have a Galaxy variant and a Sears variant. And the only reason I got this one because of the condition it's in is because this is a Crosley branded variant. Um, I don't think Crosley is very common. These fans, anyways, branded, Crosley branded fans, I don't think they're very common. This one is in tough shape, though. I mean, it cleaned up really nice, but if you look at the motor housing, that's what it's supposed to look like, and that's what the motor housing looks like. I don't know what happened to it, <coughs> but this fan runs too nice to become a parts fan. And my other one, same thing. They all run way too nice. So unless I find one with like a smashed base or something, like, like a dump, it'll just have an ugly motor cover. But it does run really nice, and I kind of like the color of the blades. I don't think that's a particularly rare color anyways. Here's a low speed. Bearings are a little stiff because it was really struggling when I bought it. So I oiled, I oiled the motor and I went ahead and greased the gear box. I put some grease down there where the gears are to help loosen things up. Um, here's medium, but as you can hear, it is a very quiet fan, minor motor noise aside, here's a medium. Still pretty quiet. This is about the noise of a modern... 12 inch oscillator on low speed and vibration aside it's just sitting on something that's not the most sturdy as you can tell we're actually going to set this thing down on the ground get down on its level <clears throat> here's low and here's high It runs really nice and it moves a lot of air. I'm going to kick it back down to low and I'm going to turn the oscillator on. That creaking noise is the head wire just stretching and unstretching and stretching and unstretching. It's not going to chafe on anything. But eventually, I am going to fix that. Here's medium. Here's high. And here's off. Back in the day, these were pretty, just a common fan you'd buy at Sears or other stores. Um, but nowadays, these are kind of like the gold standard. Modern fans can't keep up with these. And these are modern enough where they're not considered, like, really antique. And people aren't wanting $400 for them. So, uh... I just like acquiring these because they run so good and 
one of them I've loaned out to a family member. They'll take care of it, but, you know, I don't need it here. And they have a Honeywell oscillator, modern Honeywell oscillator that isn't doing so hot anymore. So they have that. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one.